Every step which Wolfgang Ranger takes with his artificial leg is sending information to his brain. There is hardly a hint of a limp in the Austrian's walk, and having the leg fitted has not prevented him pursuing many of his hobbies. That's because the artificial limb is fitted with small sensors on the foot, which are in constant contact with the wearer's brain, transmitting sensitive information. It is the first such prosthesis in the world. The 54-year-old has spent the last six months testing his new leg. With the leg, I can now feel if it is a graveled road or if it is paved. Or, for instance, in winter, and that's important, if the road is icy or slippery. I can react to it and so don't slip or fall down. Remarkably, it has helped eradicate the excruciating pain which Wolfgang Ranger had experienced since his leg was amputated. The innovation is the result of a two-fold process developed by Professor Hubert Egger at the University of Linz in Austria. Surgeons first rewired remaining foot nerve endings from the patient's stump to healthy tissue in the thigh, placing them close to the skin surface. Six sensors were then fitted to the sole of the foot on the lightweight prosthesis and linked to the so-called stimulators inside the shaft. With this sensitive artificial leg, there are pressure points built in on the sole of the prosthesis. And these points measure the contact of the surface and also the rolling movement of the artificial foot. And this information is then transmitted technically to the nerve cells, then to the brain, where it generates a sensation. The new technology believes Professor Egger could improve life for amputees in third world countries. But a high-tech foot model costs between 10,000 and 30,000 euros. Reducing the cost is the next challenge, which could happen if small companies start production of the prosthesis.